All right, so this is Avatar Into the Inferno for the DS. This is the third DS game made for Avatar. This game is different from the past two DS games as it is not an action RPG. It is more of a um, puzzle platformer. One thing is that it uh, looks like Touch controls are mandatory in this case. Let's just go ahead and um, let's just go ahead and start a new file here. Another Clado file. Let's just go ahead and start story. Go ahead and explain the other game modes when we get to them. Uh, let's just go ahead and get started. So this game, this game does not feature any voice acting. The um, art style is uh, all chibi or uh, super deformed, whatever you want to call it. So. It's pretty entertaining. I mean, it's it follows the story of uh, third season pretty well. Oh, I got to tap to talk. So movement is all controlled with stylus. Um, you tack stuff by you know tapping on it, whatever. So then um, you can switch. By tapping on this there's also there are some uh, shortcut buttons here so like d-pad right and left will switch between characters you can just regroup by uh, up and down will um, de-link your characters so you can see down here there's like a link so uh, just touching them together will relink them back together Uh, there's a lot of switch and block puzzles in this game. I'm going to be extra careful that I don't um, take the camera off the action here because the uh, I got to push down on the DS here with the tap controls. There's these white li lotus tokens. They're basically just collectibles. You do unlock some cosmetic stuff for your characters by collecting them. Collecting all these, um, oh! Okay, I guess there is some, technically, some voice acting with the character deaths, whatever. Let's see. Yeah. So, but I mean, there's no, like, lines of dialogue spoken. By the characters or anything but their voices are at least featured I think unless they just copy them from somewhere else um, you automatically hop across gaps the controls are pretty good I mean they're just touch controls so I mean some people may take longer to adjust to them than others They are what they are. They work fine. They aren't um, bad controls, at least. What am I doing? There we go. I keep looking up at the camera occasionally to make sure I'm still on screen. The story is pretty... Okay, I said that the story uh, follows... Um... You can... I said that the story follows... Uh... Season 3 pretty closely, and it does. It goes from the very beginning all the way to the end. Um, it's not a, a bridge too much. The L button, and then tap on the water to bend whatever. Oh, wait, I'm doing it without holding L. What does L do? Anything? Why did I hold L? 
No, you just touch it. Okay. Maybe there's like, um, I'm just going to try to get through this as fast as possible. Did that do anything? No, it's nothing. Uh, you can see on the top screen my progress throughout the level. These are the coins that I've collected and the white lotus tiles I've collected. So it sort of indicates to you your progress um, overall for the level. So, I mean, if you really want to be like a completionist on the game, you know, there's that. That's pretty much all there really is for that. I don't know why I'm holding L. I must be thinking of something else. Uh, maybe like Zelda does that, I think. Can Aang water bend? Yes, he can. There we go. Oh, oil is slippery. Um, maybe this isn't the best level to showcase because it's pretty uh boring. Whatever. I'll just go ahead and finish it though. So yeah, dialogue is like written down at the bottom of the screen. Um, I do want to say I like this game. It's kind of a... Uh, it's just... It's different from the other 2DS games. I actually got this game first. Um, between the, the Avatar DS games that there are in existence. Um, so, I enjoyed it when I got it. And it's still enjoyable now. I mean, once you complete it, there's pretty much no reason to revisit it. Except for, you know, occasionally if you just feel like returning to it. So white lotus tile. You can see I missed one. Whoops. You do play as... You'll only have um, two people with you at a time, although, you know, who's with you may change mid-level. I'm not sure if it actually happens. I want to say it does, but I can't recall when it does happen. There will be times where there's these doors that um, will automatically split you based on who you are. So like this is like a water tribe, this is air tribe, air nomads, whatever. So uh, you can change characters by tapping on this or pressing uh, left or right on the D-pad. So I mean, there's there are um, some D-pad or basically button shortcuts for some things, which is nice because if it was exclusively touch controls, it'd be a little more. Um, just difficult to control, be more a burdensome to try to do everything by tapping everywhere. The combat does get uh, more difficult by the end of the game. Um, right now I'm just tapping on enemies to kill them, but eventually you'll be surrounded with like um, benders and you can like deflect their attacks with elements or bending depending on who you have with you. Let's see, do play as Sokka and Toph and Zuko. Mm, I think that's it. I mean, who else is there, really? But yeah, you uh, just bend elements by touching them as they're found around. So, like, Zuko doesn't have, like, Fire bending without fire around, but uh, that's just fine. That's for puzzle sakes. That's just for the sake of uh, having puzzles. Whoa! 
Oh yeah, so you don't have a... So this red line, you can see the red line at the bottom. My screen will eventually fill up with more red lines as I'm getting hit. See, there's a one on the right there. Let me see if it's on screen. Okay, it's on screen. So as you can see, I got four lines. If I hit get hit again, then I'll die. But if you just let time pass, then um, the lines go away. So that's how you heal, I guess, from damage. So if you get hit a bunch, um, you know, one hit after the other, then then it's uh, you're gonna die. The cool part about this game, really the big appeal, is really the uh, the storytelling. Actually, strangely strangely enough, uh, the combat is is fine. The puzzles are fine, but um, Seeing all the characters in this funny forms, and then um, <laughs> just seeing how they seeing like their faces and interacting with dialogue. Um, again, there's no voice acting, but uh, this is all pretty funny. It's still a funny presentation, is the point. So like even Appa and Momo are like the same size as the people, which makes Momo seem really big and Ma Appa seem really small. All right, so. Back to the main menu here. What you do with your... You can rename your profile, check out the credits, adjust the sound, and music volume. What you do with your Lotus tiles that you collect is you buy these outfits for your characters. They... Here's the thing, though. They're only used in multiplayer, and by multiplayer I mean you can play through the main campaign of this game with two players, but they each need their own copy of the game. And so I haven't tried this out myself, but you, sh according to this, you can't change costumes unless you're playing in that mode. So single player you can't change your costumes. And then, so that's what Costume Theater is, is it unlocks these costumes for each of the five characters. What the heck? Whoa. Um, I mean, I could... So, like, watch this. I'll buy one. So there. You have Katara in her ninja sneaky outfit. Volleyball theater. So there is a multiplayer mode in here. There's a volleyball game. You can play a volleyball game in this game. And uh, the volleyball theater, this is just, uh, you can buy outfits um, to to use in that mode. Enter code. You can unlock everything through a code, probably. Let's see. Uh, there is a volleyball game. I uh, can't really test this without another... I mean, you can play the volleyball game with only one cart. But the uh, story mode multiplayer you does require another cart to play. Um, let's go ahead and check out my main file. So, when you get to the... When you get... You can um, select what file you want after you've uh, gone through... So, it goes through a lot of the good episodes from the show. So, um, it looks like there's four chapters with multiple parts to each. There you go, you've just seen all the level names. So, yeah, that's Avatar Into the Inferno for the DS. Fun game. Uh, if you have any other questions about it, you go ahead and leave them in the comments. And um, there's one more Avatar DS game I'm going to talk about next time. Maybe you'll know what it is, maybe you don't. But that'll be then. So thanks for watching. See you next time.